to the Moore Center Community Spotlight. I'm your guest host, Barbara Dodona, and I'm so excited to be here because September is DSP Appreciation Month. DSP stands for Direct Support Professional, and today we have a chance to meet some of our amazing DSPs, as well as some of the people that they support. Trisha, how long have you worked at the Moore Center? I have been at the Moore Center for about two years now. Um, November of 2017, I started. Great. Well, we're so glad mm -hmm. to have you. Thanks. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the program that you work in? It's a little different than some of our other programs. Right. Yes. Um, I work in a residential program. Um, it is called ETP, the Emergency Temporary Placement mm -hmm. Program, um, at Hall Street in Manchester. And so what we do is uh, we have individual clients who are over the age of 21, so mm -hmm. the adult residential population. It's a residential group home. Um, and it focuses really on um, people that could be in a crisis situation. Okay. And crisis could mean that you have a provider that is helping you uh, in their home and they have fallen ill or have some family issues okay. and you need a place to stay. Uh, or, you know, you could be in the hospital struggling with some mental health issues mm -hmm. and we will be there for you and we will come and pick you up and uh, we'll take you, take you in and uh, help you with some skills. And so it's really... Um, there's a variety of things that we would call a crisis, but it's usually that kind of a base where we will uh, receive people um, into our program, and it's a three-bed program at this time. So it's three beds in a mm -hmm. residence. Yes. And But it's temporary in nature, and that's what makes it a little bit different. You yes. get people kind of in a more stable place right and we, then and then they transition to somewhere else is that exactly right? yes yeah. so some of the things that we do uh, at our program and it can be between a 30 60 90 day stay okay. um, we see more temper uh, we see more stays in more of a 90 day mm -hmm. realm uh, but yes, yeah, some of the things that we do, uh, we have um, specialized therapists at the Moore Center that do uh, therapy we do therapeutic groups we work on specialized life skills. Mm -hmm. uh, people have their own individual schedules. We try to build things around what the individual likes, okay. their interests, their goals. Nice. So we work in conjunction with the Moore Center case managers, therapists, and our own awesome team of people that we have at ETP. So we all work together to kind of surround that individual with supports Wonderful. so that they can become prepared to go on to somewhere that will more serve their needs mm -hmm. or if they're going back with their families or their provider will enhance where they were in the first place. So the more I'm hearing from staff who have come in and, and chatted with us, uh, the more I'm really getting the impression that things are so individualized. It doesn't yes. matter what program we're talking about, we're really trying to just meet a person where they are and give them the supports that, that they need, which might look different than what right. someone else needs. Exactly. Yeah, that's, yes. that's exciting. It is, that's exciting. it is exciting and I love the uh, novelty of it mm -hmm. and so I just enjoy being able to every day is different I bet um, and it is and so I just enjoy that about the position you know about the job it's it's great so, so. let's talk about your position a little bit okay. um, one of the things that we like to say at the Moore Center when we're talking to people who are thinking of joining our team is come grow with us yes. because there's a lot of opportunity for growth within the organization. And yes. I think in, within the two years that you have been with us, you have experienced that. Can you tell us yes. a little bit about that? Sure. Um, I started out here um, as a DSP mm -hmm. um, and I was excited to learn more and to help to train staff and to take on some more leadership responsibilities. Mm -hmm. And so I was uh, promoted to the lead clinical day staff. Okay. And so lead clinical DSP. And then um, I recently have been promoted to the assistant manager of the ETP program. So Wonderful. congratulations. Just, thank you. You'll still be providing some direct care. Yes. Yes. yes because absolutely. that's such an urgent need. Yes. And you probably wouldn't want to get too far away from that, I would think. Right. No, I still I love it because I can do some administrative duties and learn um, about some of the training needs mm -hmm. um, with our staff. And yet I can still see my clients every day. So right. I love that. And you got the best of both worlds. maybe. I huh? do. Yes. Good. So you, this was a career change for you. It was a little bit. You yes. Want to tell me a little bit about your background. Sure. Um, actually, I'm from the area. I'm from Londonderry, mm -hmm. um, and uh, born and raised New Hampshire. And I uh, went to Keene State College in the '90s, and I have a degree in special education and okay. French. Um, 
but I, I really enjoyed, I'm, I was certified in uh, teaching in New Hampshire and in Pennsylvania. Okay. So I actually moved to Pennsylvania and was there for almost um, about 18 years. Wow. And I was there as a special education teacher of all ages, all different disabilities mm -hmm. at different times. Um, I worked in the prisons, I worked with medically fragile children. Um, wow. And I also have um, my master's from Bloomsburg University of Pennsylvania. So when I was there as a teacher, I went to get my master's degree and I have that in administration in special ed and exceptionalities um, oh. and a little bit of deaf education. <laughs> so you have quite a varied background. <laughs> so yes. But always kind of providing service in one setting or another. Yes. Um, and you decided you wanted to try something else. Now, if someone was interested in becoming a DSP, do they need to come in with all of that kind of background? Like Absolutely like you did? not. Okay. Absolutely okay. not. And. Um, it's wonderful because we have such a great team at Hall Street. We have those people who have master's degrees, um, bachelor's degrees, um, associates. We have people um, that are amazing parents and amazing mm -hmm. team members, and they bring that experience. Mm -hmm. So it, I think that the biggest thing you have to have to be a DSP, honestly, is a heart for people mm -hmm. and that you love people and you love to help and serve them and in any way that you enjoy that. And so if that's what your heart's telling you, then you can be a DSP. I love that. Um, if that's what your yes. heart's telling you, yeah, then you be can a be a DSP. DSP. Yes. And you will enjoy it. You, you will, will you it. will love it. Every day's different. Yeah. Um, and it's just being able to help an individual mm. who can have an easier day, mm -hmm. who can do something um, that makes them happy mm -hmm. and feel fulfilled and to know that you're a part of that in their daily experience is rewarding. Yeah, so. it sounds like it. It sounds yes. like it. Now, Trisha, you mentioned the team over at the ETP. Yes. And you have told me before, and I've heard from other people that this is, this is a great team. Can you tell me some of the things that you like about working with this team in particular? Yes. I love my Hall Street team. <laughs> love you guys. Um, and they are amazing because they bring in um, a variety of things. Just their experience as people and also their experience and their love of their own cultures, mm. which I have seen and just been a part of. And we, for example, we have some people from Nepal. We have some ladies from Haiti. Uh, we have some um, women from Florida, Boston, um, and guy from Tennessee, and our boss from the area. And just all of us just melding together to mm -hmm. um, also just celebrate all of our differences. Mm -hmm. And so when I see uh, our folks celebrating their culture, and we all become a part of that. Mm -hmm. um, when Depawali is around, uh, I think it's November. I hope I'm right, guys. Uh, we celebrate that holiday mm. with our Nepalese friends. Um, nice. And we had a young lady who had um, a Puerto Rican heritage, mm -hmm. and it was really awesome. We learned how to cook the different foods of her culture. Mm -hmm. And so I think that by having this team that grows together with their cultural experiences, we help our clients to you know, they might not have explored their yeah. own culture and mm -hmm. what that's about. Yeah. What is that about? Uh, where is that location? Where is this on the map? What kinds of things do they eat there? Um, do you want to take a look at what kinds of clothes they have? What about your family right. Um, right. is cultural that you share? So that's also a big part of, I think, a lot of individuals that uh, come to us with different needs and disabilities right. might not know how to explore their culture so yeah. i think that's a big part of etp and also just that sometimes we have uh, clients who are really 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 struggling mentally right. and so we need to be on top of our game at all times and that requires a team approach and it requires having each other's back and just sure. having the respect for that team member to know that right. they're going to be there right. right behind you if things get tough and we've had some really tough days yeah uh, but there's never been a day that i haven't woken up and said i'm excited to go to work today well isn't that nice so, i'm very glad to yes. hear that i feel the same way about my work at the moore center as well um and, and aren't we blessed for that yes absolutely um, so we don't just recognize you within the organization trisha you know i have to mention that at the june statewide new hampshire dsp conference you had a little bit of a surprise. 
you were named yes. the DSP of the year for the state of New Hampshire. Thank so you. So yay you. That's Thank amazing. You. That's amazing. <laughs> well deserved. Thank did you. you know that you were going to win that award? I did not. Did you know you no. were nominated? Um, I, yeah, I, yes, I believe okay. that I, I knew that, but not about the award. So yeah, that was crazy, big surprise. Yeah. And um, it was really amazing. It was really amazing. Just, um, and I really feel like that's Hall Street's award. That's what I feel like. I know that that's my award, but I feel like you are only as good as your best team that mm -hmm. you're with. Mm -hmm. You can't do this work and do it well unless you have a team behind you. Right. So, um, yeah, so really well, exciting. Well, congratulations you. on your new position. Congratulations on the honor of being the DSP of the year for the state of New Hampshire. Thank you. And uh, we are very glad to have you on our team as well, Tricia. Thanks Thank for being you, Barbara. here. Thank you so much. Want to know more about joining our team? Go to morecenter.org slash jobs. I'm your guest host, Barbara Dodona. Thanks for watching. The Moore Center is a nonprofit statewide organization with a legacy of serving others for over 60 years. We provide compassionate, high quality, cost effective services to people of all ages, from early intervention services for children, to programs and services for adults with developmental disabilities, to home care services for seniors wishing to remain independent in their own homes. We also provide training for the human services workforce. To learn more about this award-winning nonprofit organization and its rich history of creating opportunities for a good life, please visit us at morecenter.org.